Hello, Mrs. Grant. Merry oh, Christmas. Hello, Dr. Hurley. Same to you, Jeff. You're home. Hey, Mom. Come in. Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Listen, we're going to have to hurry on. Susan's waiting in the car. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kelly. Mrs. Grant? Well, your house looks lovely. Nice Christmas tree. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we were just talking about Mrs. Hadley, and I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that uh, we're getting very close to locating her. Oh, really? Yeah. We might even fly her out here to, to see Heather. See Heather? Yes, we think it might jolt her back into the world of reality if she came face to face with her former landlady. Yeah, well, you never know, huh? Yeah, you never know. Hey, Bobby. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. Merry Christmas and all of that. Same to you. What are you doing working today? Why don't you sit down? Oh, thank you, buddy. Well, you know, a lot of the girls had husbands and boyfriends that they want to spend the day with, so... What are you doing here? Oh, well, I, I came down there with Rick. He's doing his rounds right now. I'm waiting for him to get through. Listen, why did you pick Christmas? New Year's would have been a better day to be working. Well, it didn't make too much difference to me. Somehow, Christmas didn't seem that important to me this year. Yeah, no, I know. I, I understand, Bobby. I, I know it's been rough on you, losing someone that you love. Yeah, it is rough. Yeah, well, I can sympathize with that because that's how it's been with Laura and me for the last couple of months. How so? Well, I mean, she's been in the house physically, but not emotionally after the rape and all. Yeah, I know. But we are back together again as man and wife. That's good, Scotty. Can I tell you something? I haven't said this to many people, but I think Laura is holding back about the man that raped her. I think it's somebody that she knows, and it could be somebody that, that we all know. And if I ever do find the guy, Scotty, you know what? I think I know what you're going to say, and if I'm right, I hope you never do find that man. What? Why? Because there's been enough violence in all of our lives to last a lifetime. And I don't want there to be any more for any reason. I have to go now. I'll see you. Merry Christmas, Mother. Merry Christmas. What's with Bobby? I just got uh, a little upset. What about? I'm, I'm not really sure. We were talking about the man that raped Laura. And I told her what I would do if I ever found the guy. And she said that she hopes that I don't. She said there's been enough violence in everybody's life as it is. And then she got up and walked out. Scotty, you know, her attitude may be understandable. She may still be suffering from her loss of Roy. She might also think that you still feel of Roy as the rapist. I wonder if that's it. Well, it might be. Well, I've got to set her straight because I don't think that at all. I mean, I don't even know who's what. I'm just happy to have Laura back as my wife again. Sorry, I don't fall. Laura and I, we made love for the first time last night since all of that happened. Scotty, that's great. I'm, I'm very happy for you. Well, now, I don't know how good it was for Laura, but she did respond. So I think we're making progress. I'm sure it is. No, seriously, Rick. Now, you know a heck of a lot more about women than I do. Now, don't you think that we're making progress? Scotty, I'm not an expert in things like that, but I would say if you're having a male-female relationship in that manner, yes, of course that's progress. And I'm glad for you. For another reason as well. What? After the holidays, you and Laura are going to have to face a, a rather unpleasant situation. Leslie and I are separating. Hello. What's wrong? In here. Well, sometimes I get a little sad. Joe Kelly getting sad. I thought he never got sad. Well, that's just because you've been taking a hook, line, and sinker that laughable, lovable clown routine mm -hmm. of mine. No, the truth is, I, I miss the family. Your family? Since last night? Boy, that certainly is a tightly knit group, I'd say. I didn't see my family last night. I should never have said I did. I lied. Yeah, I had a feeling you weren't telling the truth. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I really have to stop and 
Think twice. You seem to be able to read me so well. Chuck, you're just a lucky guess, I uh, guess. Yeah, and maybe just a little feminine intuition. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I've got another little intuition for you, too. And that is? That is that, well, the reason I haven't made such an issue out of your family meeting them is because I've had a feeling that there's something wrong. Something that you'll tell me when the time is right. Well, you're right again. Mm -hmm. But uh, as long as we're being so candid with one another, let me ask you a question, and it's kind of important. What is it? Is there something going on between you and Jeff? If there is, I need to know. Why? Well, it could get kind of awkward. He and I are roommates, you know. Till there is nothing going on. In fact, I find this whole suggestion very offensive. You do? Why? The very fact that you think that there's something going on romantically between me and Jeff. Joe, I won't even dignify that with an answer. You make me so mad sometimes. Well, I'm very happy to report that dinner's almost ready. And I'm grateful because I'm starved. Good. What's wrong with Ann? There is nothing wrong with Ann. The only, thing that, the only problem that we're having is with my petty little jealousies. Offhand, I'd say you've been asking her how she feels about Jeff. Is that right? How do you know that? Because I've been concerned about the same thing. Jeff and Ann. Yeah. Oh, it's nothing I can put my finger on. Just a feeling that something's been brewing there. I know Jeff and Ann pretty well. You know, if something like this was happening a couple of years ago, I'd be all for it. I just wish Heather had been the kind of girl that Ann is. But, Joe, you have nothing to worry about. I don't. Jeff is married to Heather, and that's something a religious girl like Ann could uh, never forget. She'd never get in between two people like that uh, because of that. Thank God for Heather.